Hello, everyone. Let me first show you where you can uh, download the software Maple onto so-called your student BYOD laptops. I don't know exactly what it is, but I cannot install legally this software on my home computer. So I, I won't actually do this. Let's show you where you can find the link. And this is software.wfu.edu. Over here, you can find faculty, staff, and students. So you click on students, and then you see a list of software you can actually um, install. And here is MapleSoft, and this is the one. Okay, so you install on your um, laptop this software. Okay, um, some of us may be more ambitious for the future study you can actually look at what MATLAB is. MATLAB is way more powerful than MapleSoft. It has numerical computation um, abilities and also it's, it's, um, it's professional. Mathematica, many people like Mathematica. It's, it's, it's very similar to Maple. Um, it's up to you which one to install. I used to use Mathematica um, but after I moved to Wake Forest, uh, at that time, Wake Forest only had a Maple because it was cheap. And uh, so I switched to Maple. I have found it's enough, definitely. And um, anything else over here you can actually install. I hope you can actually find, say, Adobe, but I cannot find it. Adobe, oh yeah, Adobe Creative Cloud. Here you can actually download this one and then you have this uh, PDF creator kind of software. And that's very easy to convert any number of files into PDF files. I highly recommend you actually install Adobe Creative Cloud. You don't have to in install everything. It has photo Photoshop and all sorts of things, but the one with PDF. Okay, and that's the one you actually can look at. MapleSoft, you need to follow the instruction carefully, Windows, Mac, and after you finish, you need to actually copy so-called the activation code and um, activate the software. How to install and how to install over here. Just follow it very, very carefully. All right. and. Um, that's it. I hope you can actually do this successfully.